15 Fascinating Facts About the Etruscan Civilization Ancient Italian History The Etruscan Civilization, flourishing in ancient Italy before the rise of Rome, offers a rich tapestry of cultural, architectural and technological innovations that significantly influenced the development of Western civilization. Who were the Etruscan people? Where did they come from? What were their achievements? And what happened to their society? Fact number one, the Etruscans built fully functional ghost cities. The Etruscans held a profound belief in an afterlife, a conviction vividly reflected in their burial practices and tomb constructions. Their necropolises, consisting of elaborate tombs, were designed as cities for the dead, mirroring the world of the living. These burial sites were not merely resting places, but a continuation of the deceased's life, equipped with furniture, daily utensils and personal belongings. The walls of these tombs were often adorned with frescoes depicting everyday life, banquets and sporting events, suggesting a belief in an afterlife where the joys and pleasures of earthly existence could be perpetuated. This emphasis on the afterlife influenced the Etruscan approach to death and burial, differentiating their practices from those of other ancient cultures. The rich decoration and inclusion of valuable goods in the tombs indicate a society that celebrated life and viewed death as a transition rather than an end. Etruscan sarcophagi, often made of terracotta or stone, featured reclining figures on their lids, symbolizing peace and eternal life. These artistic representations, combined with the goods buried alongside the dead, offer invaluable insights into Etruscan culture, beliefs, and the significant role that the afterlife played in shaping their societal norms and practices. Fact number two, Etruscans relied on divination and prophecy to make political and social decisions. The Etruscan civilization was deeply religious, with a pantheon of gods and complex rituals that significantly influenced Roman mythology and religious practices. Their religion, characterized by an intricate system of divination and prophecy, played a central role in guiding political and social decisions. Etruscan priests, known as augurs and haruspices, were revered figures who interpreted the will of the gods through natural signs such as the flight of birds or the entrails of sacrificed animals. These practices underscored the Etruscans' belief in the divine's direct involvement in human affairs, shaping their understanding of fate and destiny. Etruscan religious influence extended beyond their own civilization through the integration of their deities and rituals into Roman culture. The practice of augury, in particular, became a fundamental aspect of Roman state religion, demonstrating the deep cultural exchange between the Etruscans and Romans. Temples and sanctuaries built by the Etruscans were marvels of architecture and art, richly adorned with sculptures and paintings that depicted their gods and religious narratives. These sacred spaces served not only as places of worship, but also as centers for community gatherings, reflecting the religion's integral role in Etruscan society. Fact number three, Etruscans staged grand sporting events, attracting many spectators. The Etruscans held a passionate interest in sports and games, which played a significant role in their social and religious life. Chariot racing, athletic competitions, and games resembling dice and board games were not only popular pastimes, but also had ceremonial and divinatory purposes. These activities were often depicted in Etruscan art, illustrating their importance in daily life and in the afterlife, as evidenced by their inclusion in tomb decorations. The Etruscans' love for games and sports demonstrates their appreciation for physical prowess, strategy, and the entertainment value these activities provided. This enthusiasm for athletic contests and games facilitated social cohesion and reflected the Etruscans' beliefs in fate and fortune. Chariot races, in particular, were grand events that attracted spectators from various cities, serving as both entertainment and religious ceremonies to honor the gods. The presence of sports in funeral art suggests that the Etruscans believe these activities accompanied the deceased into the afterlife, ensuring a continuation of the pleasures experienced in life. Through these communal and competitive activities, 
the Etruscans fostered a culture that celebrated physical achievement, leisure, and the spiritual significance of play. Fact number four, the Etruscans were visionaries who revolutionized city planning and architecture. Etruscan cities were pioneers in the realm of urban development, showcasing an advanced understanding of city planning that included well-organized street grids and sophisticated public infrastructure. Their cities were among the first in Europe to implement such structured urban layouts, indicating a high level of social organization and engineering prowess. This approach to urban planning facilitated efficient communication, trade, and defense mechanisms within their territories. Furthermore, the Etruscans' mastery of hydraulic engineering enabled them to manage water resources effectively, constructing aqueducts and sewage systems that improved public health and sanitation. The strategic layout of Etruscan cities not only reflects their architectural ingenuity, but also their holistic view of community living. Public spaces, religious centers, and necropolises were carefully integrated into the urban fabric, emphasizing the importance of civic and spiritual life. Their innovations in using arches and vaults in construction influenced future architectural developments, particularly in Roman civil engineering. The legacy of Etruscan urban planning is evident in the layout of many Italian cities, which still bear traces of these ancient grid patterns. This blend of functionality and aesthetics in city design underscores the Etruscans' significant contribution to the foundations of Western urbanism. Fact number five, the Etruscan language is completely unique and still not fully understood. The Etruscan civilization developed a unique linguistic system distinct from their Indo-European neighbors with a script that borrowed elements from the Greek alphabet. This language, largely undeciphered, represents a significant puzzle for historians and linguists alike. Efforts to translate Etruscan texts have revealed some aspects of their culture and religious beliefs, yet the majority of their literary and historical records remain inaccessible. The Etruscans' use of this script for religious and funerary inscriptions, as well as for recording transactions and decrees, underscores its importance in daily and ceremonial life. Unlike the languages of contemporary civilizations around the Mediterranean, the Etruscan language had no known relatives, making it a linguistic isolate. The script, while visually similar to Greek, encoded a language that has resisted full translation, limiting our understanding of Etruscan society, thought, and history. This isolation of language contributes to the enigmatic allure of the Etruscans, as it encapsulates a culture that, in many ways, remains just beyond the reach of modern comprehension. The surviving inscriptions offer tantalizing glimpses into a sophisticated society whose words we can see but not yet fully grasp, preserving the mystery of the Etruscan people. Fact number six, Etruscan society was complex and offered a great deal of opportunity. The social organization of the Etruscan civilization was marked by a clear hierarchical structure encompassing a ruling elite a middle class of artisans and traders, and a lower class of farmers and laborers. This stratification was reflective of the Etruscans' complex society, where social status was often linked to lineage, wealth, and occupation. The nobility at the top of this hierarchy played a dominant role in governance and religious ceremonies, wielding considerable power and influence. Their wealth was evident in the lavish goods found in their tombs, indicating their high status in life and death. Despite the apparent rigidity of this social structure, Etruscan society offered more fluidity and opportunities for social mobility compared to other ancient civilizations. For instance, artisans and traders could achieve significant wealth and status through their skills and commercial success. Moreover, Etruscan women enjoyed higher social and legal standing than their contemporaries in Greece and Rome, participating in public life and owning property. This relative social mobility and the role of women highlight the unique aspects of Etruscan social organization, distinguishing it from other ancient societies. Fact number seven, the Etruscans developed an extensive maritime trade network. The Etruscans were adept seafarers, 
engaging in extensive maritime trade that contributed significantly to their wealth and cultural development. Their strategic position along the Tyrrhenian Sea allowed them to establish trade routes not only throughout the Italian peninsula, but also with distant lands across the Mediterranean. This network facilitated the exchange of goods such as metals, ceramics, and luxury items, enabling the Etruscans to become a central hub in the ancient trade system. The prosperity gained from maritime commerce enabled the Etruscans to exert influence over their neighbors and to fund the construction of their impressive cities and monuments. Etruscan ships designed for both trade and military purposes were instrumental in securing their dominance in the region. Through their naval prowess, they were able to protect their trade routes against pirates and rival powers, further solidifying their economic and strategic position. The cultural exchange that resulted from these trade interactions had a lasting impact on Etruscan art, religion and society, as evidenced by the diverse influences seen in their material culture. Goods and artistic styles from Greece, Phoenicia and Egypt, among others, were assimilated and adapted into Etruscan life, showcasing their openness to external influences and their role as a cultural crossroads in the ancient world. Fact number eight. The Etruscans had a sophisticated palate and enjoyed exceptional food. The Etruscans made significant contributions to the culinary landscape of ancient Italy, influencing Roman cuisine with their agricultural practices and gastronomic innovations. They cultivated a variety of crops, including grapes for wine, olives for oil and grains for bread, showcasing an advanced understanding of agriculture and food production. Their diet was diverse, incorporating fruits, vegetables, meats and fish, seasoned with herbs and spices that reflect a sophisticated palate. This culinary variety not only enriched their own diet, but also laid the groundwork for the rich traditions that would characterize Roman food culture. The Etruscans' expertise in preserving food through smoking, drying and salting techniques allowed for a greater diversity in diet throughout the seasons and contributed to the storage and transportation of foodstuffs. Wine production, in particular, became a hallmark of Etruscan civilization, with their methods influencing Roman viticulture and the spread of winemaking techniques across Europe. The social aspect of dining, including banquets and feasts, played a significant role in Etruscan society, as depicted in numerous frescoes and artifacts. These gatherings were not only culinary events, but also opportunities for social interaction, religious ceremonies, and the display of wealth and status. Fact number nine, Etruscan culture had a significant influence on the Roman Empire. The Etruscan civilization profoundly shaped the early development of Rome, leaving an indelible mark on its architecture, language, and religious practices. Etruscan influence is seen in the foundational structures of Roman society, from the adoption of the Etruscan alphabet, which laid the groundwork for Latin script, to the architectural techniques that contributed to Rome's iconic buildings. Etruscan engineers and artisans were pivotal in constructing Rome's early monumental projects, such as temples and the city's first aqueducts. Their mastery of urban planning and hydraulic engineering greatly influenced the development of Rome's infrastructure. Religious and cultural practices of the Etruscans were integrated into Roman society, enriching the Roman pantheon and rituals with Etruscan deities and ceremonies. The practice of augury, interpreting the will of gods through the flight of birds, became a cornerstone of Roman religion, adopted directly from Etruscan traditions. Moreover, the Etruscan governance model, including elements of their social hierarchy and political organization, influenced the formation of the Roman Republic. The legacy of the Etruscans in Rome is a testament to their sophisticated culture and technological advancements, which played a crucial role in shaping the Roman Empire and, by extension, Western civilization. Fact number 10. The Etruscans laid the groundwork for Rome's gladiatorial games. The Etruscans played a critical role in the origins and development of what would become one of the most iconic spectacles of ancient Rome, the gladiatorial games. These public spectacles, which combined martial skill with theatrical drama, are believed to have evolved from Etruscan funeral rites. 
During these rites, pairs of warriors would engage in combat to honor the dead, a practice rooted in the Etruscan belief in the afterlife and the necessity of blood sacrifices to accompany and protect the deceased in their journey beyond. This ritual combat laid the groundwork for the gladiatorial games in Rome, where the spectacle evolved into a form of entertainment and state control. As the Romans adopted and adapted the Etruscan tradition, the games expanded from their funerary origins to become a complex symbol of power, political ambition and social order within the Roman Empire. The transformation of these combats from sacred rites to public spectacles underscores the deep cultural exchange between the Etruscans and Romans, highlighting how Etruscan traditions significantly influenced Roman society. The legacy of the Etruscans in this arena is a poignant reminder of their impact on Roman culture, particularly in the ways that entertainment and religion were intertwined in the ancient world, shaping the social and political fabric of Rome. Fact number 11, the Etruscans were trailblazers in the field of music. The Etruscans played a pivotal role in the development of music in the ancient Mediterranean, leaving behind a rich legacy of musical instruments and representations of musical performances. Their contributions to music are evidenced by the variety of instruments found in their tombs and depicted in their art, including lyres, double pipes and horns, indicating a sophisticated musical culture. These instruments, often elaborately decorated, were not only used in everyday entertainment, but also played a significant role in religious ceremonies and public festivals, underscoring the importance of music in Etruscan society. The influence of Etruscan music extended beyond their civilization, impacting Roman music and, by extension, the musical traditions of Western culture. The depictions of musicians and dancers in Etruscan frescoes and sculptures provide insights into the performance practices and the social context of music in ancient times. Through their innovative designs of musical instruments and the integration of music into their cultural and religious life, the Etruscans contributed to the evolution of musical expression in the ancient world. Their legacy in music offers a fascinating glimpse into the artistic and spiritual life of the Etruscans, revealing a society that celebrated the power and beauty of music as an integral part of their identity. Fact number 12. The Etruscan alphabet was key in shaping the Latin script and Western writing. The Etruscan alphabet stands as a pivotal achievement in the annals of ancient writing systems serving as a crucial intermediary in the evolution of the Latin alphabet from the Greek script. This script, adapted from the Greek alphabet during the 8th century BCE, was tailored to fit the phonetic requirements of the Etruscan language, which remains only partially deciphered today. The Etruscans' adoption and modification of this script underscore their ability to integrate and innovate upon cultural elements from other Mediterranean societies, facilitating both their communication needs and their artistic expressions. The significance of the Etruscan alphabet extends beyond its immediate utility for inscriptions and records. It represents a cultural bridge between the Greek world and the burgeoning Roman society. As Rome rose to prominence, it inherited and further adapted the Etruscan script, laying the groundwork for the Latin alphabet that would become foundational to Western literacy. This transmission of writing technology highlights the Etruscans' role in the dissemination of knowledge and cultural practices across ancient Europe. The remnants of Etruscan script found on monuments, artifacts and tombs today offer invaluable insights into a civilization that, while shadowed by its successors, played a crucial role in the literary and linguistic heritage of the West. Fact number 13. Etruscan metalwork was prized throughout the Mediterranean. The Etruscans were renowned for their exceptional skills in metalworking, especially in the crafting of bronze. Their artisans created a wide array of items, from delicate jewelry to imposing statues and sophisticated weaponry, showcasing their technical expertise and artistic sensibility. The quality of Etruscan metalwork was so superior that it was highly sought after not just within Etruria, but across the Mediterranean. 
These masterpieces often featured intricate designs and motifs, including animals, gods, and scenes from daily life, reflecting the Etruscans' deep connection to their religion and culture. In addition to bronze, Etruscan craftsmen excelled in working with gold, silver, and iron, producing goods that ranged from practical tools to luxurious adornments. Their jewelry, including necklaces, bracelets, and earrings, was particularly notable for its beauty and complexity, incorporating techniques such as granulation and filigree to create exquisite patterns. The craftsmanship of these items speaks volumes about the sophistication of Etruscan society and its appreciation for art and beauty. The legacy of Etruscan metalworking continued to influence Roman craftsmanship and beyond, testament to the enduring skills and artistic vision of Etruscan artisans. Fact number 14. Etruscan women were afforded unprecedented freedoms. Etruscan women enjoyed a notably higher status in society compared to their counterparts in other ancient civilizations, such as Greece and Rome. They were often depicted in art and literature as participating actively in public life, including attending banquets and social events alongside men, which was a rare sight in the ancient world. This level of social freedom indicates a society where women could wield significant influence and enjoy rights that were uncommon for the time. They were allowed to own property, engage in business, and inherit wealth, showcasing a degree of gender equality that was progressive for its era. The visibility of Etruscan women in societal activities reflects the cultural uniqueness of the Etruscans, where gender roles had a different dynamic compared to neighboring cultures. This aspect of Etruscan life suggests a complex societal structure that valued the contributions of women in both the domestic and public spheres, their depiction in tomb paintings and sculptures, often shown as equals to men, underscores the respect and importance afforded to women within Etruscan society. The legacy of Etruscan women seen through the archaeological record provides a window into the progressive nature of Etruscan civilization. Fact number 15. Etruscan decline reshaped Italy, yet their cultural imprint shaped Rome forever. The decline of the Etruscan civilization was a gradual process influenced by a combination of internal strife, economic challenges, and increasing pressure from external forces, notably the Romans and Gauls. By the 3rd century BCE, many of the once thriving Etruscan city-states had been absorbed into the Roman Republic, either through conquest or gradual assimilation. This transition marked the end of Etruscan dominance in central Italy, but the legacy of their culture continued to influence Roman society in myriad ways, from their contributions to Roman religion and architecture to the Latin alphabet and urban planning. The imprint of Etruscan civilization is indelible in the foundations of Western culture. The Etruscan's legacy is not only evident in the tangible remnants of their cities and artifacts, but also in the less visible cultural and technological contributions they made to subsequent civilizations. Their sophisticated approaches to art, architecture and social organization provided a model that the Romans would emulate and expand upon, creating a cultural continuum that bridged the ancient and classical worlds. Despite their decline as a distinct political entity, the Etruscans remain a subject of fascination and study their civilization offering valuable insights into the complexities of ancient Mediterranean cultures and their interconnections. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more fascinating history content.